Okay, I'm doing this video to show how I'm fixing a problem with our camper. I looked um, all over the place and couldn't find a product or another video that does this. So this is a typical jackknife couch you see in most campers. Um, lift it up, pull it out, lays down into a bed. The problem on our design is there's really no support under here at all. There's just a, a little cover board that fits over that. They have other models that actually have shelves or excuse me, drawers that pull out and give you a support all the way across. Then there's a bracket that will fit on the top and have a bar that slides out. But uh, in this case, that's not an option for us. And I could not find anything uh, on the market that would work. So, let me show you what I'm doing here. So underneath, this is a round tubing in here. And it's difficult to attach anything to because all the padding's around it. But I have these two 5 uh, bars here and they're welded in there pretty darn good so I'm hoping they'll be able to support the weight and then this is a one inch um, piece of pre-drilled stainless steel metal that I've cut with two holes and this is 15 16 holes and then um, put a slot on either side so this now fits right up in there and I have a three-quarter inch piece of square aluminum tubing that will fit up inside here and then I will bolt it through that bottom hole and push it up tight against the top so there's not a lot of slack or play in this thing won't like go up and down It'll be pushed right up against the uh, top there now when I pull this out you can see the line where the board has been the bracket will actually be inside of that so it's not going to get in the way of that board sitting out here and if I need to lift it up, these rotate and just lift it up out of the way. You know, either direction, these, this will be able to lift up, you know, either direction if it needs to get out of the way to grab the uh, material or the supplies we have that's underneath the couch. And if need be, I can actually put two of these on, have one in the back, one in the front. And then I'll probably put some sort of wire around it to keep them from sliding this way. Um, but that's it. So the aluminum rod I'm using. And that's just bought off the shelf at Home Depot. There's this aluminum rod. There's a piece I just cut with letting it cool down. But this will just slide into. And I gotta get all the burrs out of here. But this will slide onto there. Up pretty far. I'm going to drill a hole through that so it has a, a seat. And then uh, this piece will sit right in there. It'll be able to swivel. I'll cut this to length. The only thing I'm a little bit concerned about is I could not find a square grommet to put around this. So if I have a sharp end, I don't want it to uh, dig into our carpet. So I still need to, to hunt down a grommet. Um, all I was using to cut this with was just a, uh, a miter box with a, a metal blade on it. Just cut these in straight like that on either side, laid it down there, and cut it. Cut off my piece, and that's it. Nice and easy. I'm going to have some extra pieces I may use uh, somewhere else. Altogether, this was about less than $30 um, for the parts. And then I'll uh, come on here in a little bit when I get one done and show you what it looks like. Okay, so here's my bracket. So I cut my notch in there, just did a drill bit, and then um, used the uh, chop saw to nip the ends of it off. So this piece will slide in here, and it will fit tight around that bar. Got to drill a hole through the bottom one all the way through, and there'll be a bolt that goes through that. So that's what I'm going to do next is drill my bolt hole. And then I'll measure the length and um, cut this to size and then put it in. Okay, I got the first one done and installed. And it looks like it works pretty good. So, here's my bracket. It's bolted in. It's nice and tight. It goes down to the ground. Pick it up a little bit. I can rotate it up. Get it out of the way if I need to grab stuff from underneath. If the bed gets pulled out. Still good. It's a 
same height. So the only thing I really need to do is put a piece of wire or something back there just keep this from sliding around because it's going to have its most support right up next to where the welds are. But that's it. Put one more in and then uh, this should not move or bow at all. And like I said, if I need to, I can put another one in the back, you know, back along the same bar. And there's bars back here too, so I don't think I'll need any back there. Most of this gets bent down just from, you know, three or four people sitting on it. And it'll squish it down a little bit. So, hope that helps people. I know it took me uh, some head scratching to figure it out. And again, I couldn't find anything online. So, less than 30 bucks. There you go. Uh, RV jackknife couch slash bed support. Mm -hmm.